Hi there. Um, hi, welcome back to part two, uh, where we're going to um, start fitting the um, the new screen assembly on this iPhone 4. As you can see, I'm just cleaning up the little flecks of glass that might be there. You don't want to leave any there because uh, the screen won't go on properly, get it trapped around the edge. Um, also, you could end up scratching the, the, the new screen, scratching the black paint off it. So with a craft knife or some kind of scraping tool, just make sure you get all the flecks of glass out of the way. Okay, once that's done, we'll be able to um, put another LCD assembly on this. Okay, I never lay it face down because you pick up dust. Right, first things first. We, we need the camera surround. Um, and we'll just clean it off. Uh, now when this goes on, there's two, there's, when you look at it, there's um, like two wide tabs on the back with a slot in it. That goes roughly about 8 o'clock as you're looking at the phone upright, like that, and just tuck it in. It's important to put that in, otherwise the camera's going to move around. Okay, some of the new screens will not have the gauze mesh over the earpiece, uh, so it's always prudent to take the one off your old one. In case you'll need it on the new one. Okay, here's your new screen. We're going to remove the protective backing from this first off. Um, this one has the gauze um, mesh there. You can see it. Uh, I like to bend over um, these things. So hold it with your thumb and bend it the way that I've done. Don't bend it down near the LCD. Chances are you will damage it. Okay, so just pointing out, the gauze um, mesh is there for the earpiece. Okay, that's okay on that. So we'll gently guide this in through the, the slot. First in with the digitizer and then the LCD. And watch it because there's another part of it that needs to come through. Don't leave it laying in between the glass and the mid-frame. It has to come through. Otherwise, when you come to uh, put it together, the screen won't go down properly and it will not, um, you won't have enough reach there to connect the cables on. Okay, so we need to make sure that the prongs have come between the mid-frame and the washers, not between the screw and the washer but between the mid-frame and the, the washer. So check all six, make sure they come through. Um, because otherwise that's something else that will stop it going down properly. Um, so once that's all done, uh, you'll do an inspection all around uh, the phone itself, making sure that it's a, a good fit, uh, it's not tight. Check it top and bottom. Also, check the operation of the home button because sometimes with these cheaper screens you buy, either the hole's not in the right place or the hole's too small and the button will stick. So it's always best to check the operation of that prior to putting all your screws in. Okay, we're, we're going to start by putting two uh, corner screws in, first off. Quite fiddly little things. I use a magnetic, well, it's not a magnetic screwdriver, See that little chunk of metal on there? It's a little magnet, which you, you will normally find in laptop lids and whatnot. Um, it just aids, because those screws are a pig to, to put in without the uh, magnetised side of things. So put two corner ones in first off. Uh, these are the ones up near the uh, dot connector. And then we'll lock down three of the side screws. Uh, now I like to pinch um, the, the mid-frame and the glass as I'm tightening all of these screws down because it makes sure that the, the whole lot goes down clean. Uh, so don't over tighten any of the screws, there's no need for it. Uh, so we'll come in, just put the final two screws in for the corners. This is uh, a relatively easy one to get in. The tricky one is the one near the headphone jack. Once again, pinch the corner and the glass to make sure it's down properly. Okay, last screw. I say this is a difficult one. Notice I've moved my magnet up a bit more to give a bit more strength there. 
Now this one's in an angle, so it's very easy to cross thread it. So take your time, just guide it in. You'll feel it go in. Um, so once that's in place, we'll tighten the three remaining screws at the side. Once again, just gently nip up. And that's basically the screen on. So now you can start putting all the, the gubbins back in. And we'll start off with the speaker box uh, with the aerial flex on it. Um, and I'll point out a few things here. I like to prep up my screwdriver with the screw for this one, simply because it does aid um, in putting this down. Because of these four prongs, um, which have to make contact with the um, frame of the phone. So I push the back end in first near the dock and just put a gentle bit of pressure on it. Don't push it in. Get your plastic pry tool and gently push these tabs in and gently push down on the speaker box as you do it. Once that's in, hold it and then plop the screw in one side and that should be sufficient to hold the, the whole lot down. So with that done uh, we can go for the logic board. Now then care must be taken here. Now if you have a look where my thumb is in a minute, uh, right I'm just pushing these K flex um, flexes down because it does help to get the logic board in. Um, now we're going to feed the, the logic board in, we've got to get past the three connectors there and then with it slightly up in the air you need to push forward but make sure it's in at that side where my, thing, think, where my finger was. All right? I'm just going to point the top end, there's a, a little groove that it goes into as well. Um, so it should go down flat, you shouldn't have to, have to force this at all. Okay, next up we'll get a couple of the, the screws in. Now we'll put the two in for the logic boards. First off the centre one and the one near the speaker box. So once again a magnetic screwdriver is an absolute must for this. It really does uh, aid uh, the assembly. Okay, the last one is the, the corner one. And next off, we're, we're going to go for the um, camera. So we'll put the camera in first, snap it into place. snap that into place and then the three connectors at the side the, these ones are for the camera the volume control um, mute switch um, and the on off sleep button so make sure they're down properly don't need to force them they do tend to guide themselves on relatively easy um, just make sure they're down Next off, we're going to plug on the LCD connector. That's the stiffer, stiffest of the two cables. Line it up with the connector on the board by looking down. Always line it up because if you don't, you could end up damaging components which are by the side of that uh, connector. Last one on, digitizer. Okay, that's part two. See you in part three. Uh, please subscribe to me.